Joining us now is Dr. John Morse, and he is president of Astronetics. And thank you for joining us. Oh, pleased to be here. Let's talk about Astronetics. Tell me about it. Astronetics is a startup that wants to do space science as a data service. And so it's a lot like the companies that already look at the Earth and accumulate data, and then scientists are able to buy data either through NASA or NOAA or one of the space agencies or from other sources of funds in order to do their research. And what Astronetics is trying to do is accelerate the pace of discovery by offering more lower cost options for data to be taken. I understand that you're part of a panel uh, talking about new access to space. Tell us about that. So we have a lot of launch vehicle companies, for example, that are getting payloads into space for a fraction of the cost that it used to take in order to send an important scientific payload. And then you have companies that are building remote sensing type of platforms that take pictures of the Earth, but we want to use those kinds of infrastructure in order to study the cosmos. And then we have lander companies. We have 14 companies in the so-called Commercial Lunar Payload Services program at NASA. And these are companies, some of which you've heard of, like Lockheed Martin or SpaceX or Blue Origin, and then some new companies which are trying to innovate in the way they get uh, payloads to the lunar surface. And this, during the next five years, this is going to be the way a lot of science is going to get done, is by buying services, transportation services or data services, in order to accelerate discovery. How do you get scientists involved? So as a data service company who is interested in uh, accelerating scientific discovery. We actually are what's called a public benefit corporation and we have uh, a public benefit statement that says we want to accelerate earth and space science discovery. And that allows us to incorporate scientific needs into our business model. And where do you get scientific needs and requirements but from scientists? And so right now scientists could go on our website at astronetics.com and there's a panel there you can click on to send us your information and your interest in, for example, a dedicated solar system space telescope mission. That would be a small observatory to start with, but we want to grow the capabilities over time. So scientists' interaction with astronetics is at the core of what we're going to do. All right, Dr. Morse, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.